Is the Advanced Paris A12 actually the Macintosh killer? And how will it sound in one of our listening rooms today? I'm going to be checking out just that. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay, hey. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra Work with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom, boom Dude, you get a bunch of Vans Paris to ship out I do <laughs> We're doing these vlogs oh, <laughs> Yeah, now we are <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got a lot of stuff going on it. It's pretty wild Would you say it's like a Macintosh killer? Yeah, oh yeah. No, I, I do actually really like the advanced pair of stuff. Dude, I listened to it yesterday. I don't, I don't know if I should look at you or the lenses. You can look wherever you want. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. There's yeah. no, there's no, uh, there's not a lot of editing in these things. Yeah, yeah. You just, you look at the at the people out there watching you. <laughs> no, but I mean, the, the A10, or we had the A12. The A12. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, it really does. You know, it's not so analytical. You can't just pick things out, but it's. You know what you haven't done? What's that? Hooked it up to the Fortes. I know. The Fortes on the Advanced Paris? Also the one. I don't even know where to look. Oh, yeah, they changed the grills, too. They look so nice. Yeah. Well, that's what you guys are going to see. Mm -hmm. And you. Yeah. Because we'll, you haven't we'll heard it yet. up a little differently. And I got room. I hooked it up. Let's check that out. So we got the Advanced Paris A12 hooked up on top of our Yamaha rack next to our Cambridge rack, where I'm streaming actually from the Cambridge NQ. Got our last night on there. We're going to listen to it. Uh, in this system from these Klipsch Fortes that we got in American Walnut. And I think they have new grills, which are really nice, that don't sag. So look at that six speaker. And I don't know if you can see the difference between that and the Klipsch Horn. They both are the same finish, but they have new grills. And actually, that's really exciting. The other thing I want to show while I'm in this room is we just got this Luxman integrated tube amp. Uh, which I haven't really got to play around with yet. So I was just sitting in there, kind of just playing with the switches. And I mean, at this point, I didn't even think to turn it on. I was just playing with the switches and the knobs and just having fun with it, moving the volume control. And then I was like, hey, what's this one do? And I was actually surprised I turned it on. I didn't even think about that. But those meters are pretty cool. I really like those. And then the way you can see the tubes up through the cage here was really nice. So it's a cool mini amp. But back to the Advanced Paris A12, so we're going to get this hooked up, jam out to it for a little bit. And to find out if it's really the Macintosh killer, I'm going to listen to some Stick Season, which is a great song from Noah Khan. But what would make this experience better than if we turned the lights out and got to watch everything lit up in all its glory, all the amps. Like, look at the room. Like, there's some pretty cool stuff lit up in the room with the Advanced Paris standing out with those blue LEDs. So you really get the experience when listening to this and looking at it right from the front. So the knobs have a glow around them. You have bright lit LED displays on both sides, plus those blue meters with the orange. I don't know. What's it? A meter stick? I'm not really sure what it's called. But then again, you also have the tubes that glow bright orange, which if you ask me, that's one of my favorite parts. The thing that really stands out on this integrated amp, you know, besides those big meters are the tubes. Another thing that stands out at night in this room is, look at the Luxman. Look when I turn that on, like how much of a clean, bright glow that is. Uh, just a sick piece. And then, of course, you have the tubes that are going to be glowing from on top. And I got, I got L red LEDs going behind this thing. Uh, but I just love the look and feel of this amp. Here's a closer look at those knobs that have that LED around them. And a closer look at the meter in the dark. I mean, even the Forte looks good at night, but let's take this grill off so you can see it. Like, look at that. That is a cool looking speaker, like all the speakers around them are. I mean, these are all really, really nice speakers. But I did notice a difference in the grill when I first looked at this new pair of Fortes. It looks like they put like a thicker wire in instead of the string to ease any of the settling that the grill might do. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's been like this for a while. But to me, I noticed a huge difference and then i literally sat in this chair playing around with the a12 for you know an hour or two just on and off but i had a really good time just kind of sitting in there and relaxing to the sounds of the a12 on all the different speakers that you see in this video
one of my favorite things that you see is that you can actually see through the top of the A12 and see the red boards in there. It's a really cool design. I didn't open them up because I had it all hooked up, but you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. I can't really see it from the sides. I don't know if there's a heat sink there, but when you get to the top, you can definitely tell that it's made uh, with looks in mind. So one of the true Macintosh tests is that you can see yourself when playing around and filming the amp. And there I am right in the mirror, just going through the A and B speakers, just selecting between different ones that I'm listening to. But hey, like Macintosh, you can see yourself in it. And the price point is going to save you a lot of money if you're trying to compare between the two. I mean, the Advanced Paris is much less expensive. The other speakers I was trying was the Elysian ones. I also did the Spendor 2, 3 Classics. And of course, as you saw earlier, the Fortes. But there's a ton of great speakers that you can pair with these. I decided not to use any of the Kefs or the Elysian 4s or the Klipsch over here because, you know, they were in another room. And I would love to put them, I think, with the Dovedales that you see right there. They'd probably even sound good with the Mission 700s and probably the Source Points as well. Any of the speakers you see here, I really love the leaks in the corner as well. Oh, you are literally shipping one out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, these are hot. Yes. This is the one that's been out of stock forever. The A10's been out of stock for a while and they finally got them in. Oh, I got music playing. That's okay. I don't think you can hear it. Oh. Now, I know I, I showed this earlier and I haven't got to listen to it actually yet, but I do think it's pretty cool. So just a little integrated tube amp from Luxman. So it's high quality. It looks amazing, especially at night. And I think my favorite part, now this is kind of dumb, right? But that they made the output transformers and the power transformer completely square in this cabinet oh look at look at tom doing turntables yeah yeah i got the 1200 anyway so yeah i really like how these are all completely square i think this is so cool so if you're looking for a you know integrated amp you know 3500 dollars for luxman is sick oh I'm, i'm actually filming i think i thought i was taking a picture my thing's on I guess this is going in the vlog. We're back here filming the phase linear yeah. documentary, which should be pretty cool. I really kind of mad libbed the whole thing. I, ha I wrote something for it and just completely said, no, this isn't going to work. We got to do something else. It was 30 minutes of it, too. Was it really? Yeah. Wow, I was just going for 30 minutes. Which it sounded good to me, though. I'm sure the video is not going to be 30 minutes. Mm -mm. But we went for 30 minutes on me trying to remember what I was talking about when I wrote the story. It's incredible. It's fun to see me back in this set, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's good to see you guys live from the, the Just studio. Audio store. The studio. Uh-huh. The stew. The, the stew. I'm going to go back on the floor because it is stewing back here. Yeah, in I'm like, heat. I'm ready to get out. Like, it's not even summer yet. It's like, I don't know, what's it, like 60, 70 degrees out? Yeah. Probably more like 70. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear about the Flyers, man. It's so sad, man. It's funny. Yeah, I know. We were going to go to the playoffs. Yeah, we I tell were, you we that every tickets, year. Yeah, to the no, Stanley Cup final, and we got to just, you we, know. We didn't get tickets to the Stanley Cup final, but if I told you last year, if they go to the playoffs, we'll go see them. I bet my entire... So I guess next year, home. maybe we'll go see him. We can go see, what's the what's the mascot that I like so much? Gritty. Yeah, Gritty's been in WWE like a whole lot. So wait, we can't end it that early. We have to figure out, is the Advanced Paris the real Macintosh killer? We didn't really answer that, but I think, I think how you have to think of it is, you know, when you're getting Macintosh, it costs a lot more money than this advanced Paris does. And the value that that presents is the opportunity to get something close and or maybe for some people better than Macintosh equipment. Now, you know, a lot of people's gonna disagree and they say Macintosh is better and well, you know, they may be right, they may not be right, but from a value proposition of how much less expensive the advanced Paris stuff is and what it brings to the table, not only sound wise, but looks wise, it's really going to give Macintosh a run for their money. So while it is a different look, a lot of the things that made Macintosh famous, you can now get in the advanced Paris package. I mean, you have tubes, 
you have meters, you have good quality construction, you know, you have a lot of things that you get with Macintosh. And Macintosh has been around for a long time and advanced Paris, and I'm not really sure exactly when they started, but you know, you get a lot of the same package deal that you would get with the Macintosh for a lot less money and for a lot of people, that's where the decision's really gonna be made is that, hey, if I can save, you know, thousands of dollars and get something for maybe 25% of the cost of the other amp, well, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. And you know, the Advanced Paris, and there's a picture from uh, Exponent 2024 with me and, and Bob and Jen from the United States Analog and the Cambridge Audio guys. Advanced Paris has the 190 watt, the A12 is 190 watts per channel. I mean, that's a good amount of power. I mean, that's all the power you really need. And actually, when I was playing with the Fortes, it was very interesting. When playing it with the Fortes, I hardly needed to turn the volume up at all. I mean, I really got that tube amp feel uh, with being able to get a lot of sound with little to no power. I mean, I had it probably... I mean, there's not really a, you know, 7, 8 o'clock on the uh, volume control, but, you know, it was fairly low to when I turned on the other speakers, I had to really crank the volume. So, I mean, I thought the Forte worked really well. And for somebody who wants to put $10,000 maybe into an entire system, speakers, an amp, you know, maybe add in some components and get it all within that budget. I mean, that's a that's not a small budget, but that's a, you know, a median that you wouldn't be able to hit if you were going to do a Mac system. So if you were to do that, you know, I think the Advanced Paris, uh, you know, paired with something like the Forte's, made a killer system. I mean, I cranked it and it was just playing all day long. It was great stuff. And, you know, mixing them with other speakers, you know, maybe maybe do the missions. Uh, the Spendors sounded really good on them and whatever else, you know, speakers, whatever kind of look you're going for. Maybe you want to do the uh, Warfdale Lintons that I got right up there. Um, the Advanced Paris really was nice. And what I think I enjoyed about it the most is what you would get for the money of that. You're not going to get anything anywhere else with all the bells and whistles, I mean, it has HDMI, it has subwoofer outs and multiple of them. It has uh, balanced inputs and outputs. I mean, you're getting a lot, a lot of functionality for the money that you may not get in other places. And with Advanced Paris, you get it, but you also get that tube aspect and you also get those meters. And at night, and even in that stack during the day, I mean, it stood out and it, and it, you know, and that was next to a eight or $10,000 Yamaha integrated amp. That was next to the, the Cambridge Audio uh, Edge series, which is an incredible series, but you know, that doesn't have those meters and like that kind of look, you know, you get that Macintosh feel when you try to take a selfie with it or take a picture and it literally reflects you in, you know, that picture. So it's it's hard to take a good picture of it. So is it a Macintosh killer? I don't know. I think for a lot of people, not being able to maybe afford Macintosh and wanting to do something that really will make heads turn, I think it qualifies. And now I'd love to say that, you know, I listened to other people's reviews of it, but I have not. I've only listened to it in person myself. And if the A10's that popular, Man, I don't, I don't know why, at, I think it's $2,700, that the A12 isn't one of the best integrated amps on the market that you can get in this sub $3,000 price point. I mean, there's actually not that many really, really, really nice amps of that size, especially not 190 watts, that you're going to get under four grand. I mean, look at that, $37.99. Look, that's on my site. So there you go. So, I mean, you got room for speakers. Like you could do the Leak Sandwich 150s, do the Advanced Paris A12, and you're still under five grand or, or barely, you're right there. But, you know, there's a lot of different combinations that you can do uh, to get in a good budget system. And eh, five grand is not really a budget, but it's a good mid-sized system. And, you know, with $1,200 or so left over to put towards speakers, you're gonna get something nice. There's a lot of mixtures that would go really, really well with the A12. So, 
you know, while I don't demo Macintosh stuff all that often, it really doesn't happen unless it's vintage. I think Advanced Paris is going to give them a run. Uh, seeing how popular, how many people order this, you know, it's kind of wild. So, hey, if, if it fits your budget, that's a go-to amp right there. You know YouTube knows which video you want to watch next, right? Well, it's probably that one right there. And you also should probably subscribe or something to this channel. I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to put something on the screen for that, but watch this video here. YouTube knows you'll like it.